A desperate search underway in this woody area of Kentucky, an hour south of Lexington, where police believe suspected sniper Joseph Couch may be hiding. There's a lot of wooded area down there, so you, are, you know, you can hide out anywhere, the tracks, anywhere. Police say the 32-year-old perched in that rough terrain on a ledge about 30 feet down from a cliff Saturday fired off 20 to 30 shots toward I-75, hitting 12 vehicles. The victims have been shot through the windshield. Five people shot, the suspect nowhere to be found. All of a sudden, we just heard this loud, deafening sound, and my ear, my right ear started ringing, and we didn't know what the sound was, but we both looked at each other and said, was that a gunshot? Thankfully, no one was killed, but the victims seriously injured. One person shot in the face. I can't stress how chaotic this was when our units arrived on the scene. People, uh, uh, cars on the, on the side of the road, emergency flashers, windows shot out, people hurt severely. Police say they have recovered a vehicle associated with Couch and an AR-15 style assault rifle left in the woods that Couch purchased the same day of the incident, along with more than a thousand rounds of ammunition. He leaves his car and he leaves the weapon in places that obviously the police will find in fairly short order. So what does that mean? Did he walk off? Did he have another car? Is he in a cave? It may go to mindset here. You know, is he still alive? All of these things are going to play into where he might be. For now, Laurel County Public Schools closed out of an abundance of caution. Police say Couch should be considered armed and dangerous. People in the area are being told to remain vigilant, call 911 if they see anything, and not approach the suspect. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.